So, intention to stop and drop, attention to the sounds and the rhythm and sensations of the posture. So this is going to be a grounding, sense, grounding exercise. And if you feel comfortable, everything is optional. Nothing here is, is uh, at all necessary. But if you feel comfortable, I'd just like to take us through a, a few minutes of stopping and dropping. And you're welcome to close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that. When we close our eyes, it, it takes care of a lot of the visual distraction that we can have. So if that feels comfortable, then just to gently close your eyes. And I'm going to ring the bell just to help to bring us to the sound of the bell. And then at the end of the practice, I'll ring the bell again just to kind of release us from the practice just so that we can be back uh, present again. So this exercise of stopping and dropping, the mind wants to have something that I can pay attention to. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it sound. So we become interested in the sounds in the room. And in mindfulness we talk about just bare non-judgmental attention. So we'll hear sounds in the room as best we can. We won't think about them. We won't judge them as too much or too less, as best we can. And we just let those sounds come, come to us. And whenever we find the mind going off, we just gently bring it back, very, very gently, just becoming interested again in the sounds that are in the room. The reason that we do this is because sounds are always in the present moment. So if we shift some of our attention onto sounds in the present moment, we have less attention on our anxiety. And the mind, it gets bored pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shift our attention to the posture of the body. So just noticing where your feet are. Noticing where your hands are. And noticing where your tongue is. Where is the tongue in the mouth? Can you feel where the tongue is in the mouth? And again, we don't change anything. We just become aware of the sensations because here's the second, second place that we can use is we can use the sensations. These are all safe sensations. These are grounding sensations and they're in the present moment. Feeling the feet. Maybe bringing the hands together in front of you and just holding one hand with the other. Maybe feeling the, the hard knuckles of the other hand. Anything that's hard is safe. These are all safe places to put your attention. And for the tongue, you can just gently push your tongue against your teeth because the teeth are hard. Mm -hmm. 
and then if the mind is getting a bit bored or anxious, we can just go back to the feet, feeling maybe just slightly feeling the, uh, the bottoms of the feet, then shifting the attention to the hands, and then shifting the attention to the tongue. So we're going to end this practice in the next minute, but before I do, one of the things we do in mindfulness is we inquire, we reflect on the experience. So our reflection was, what did I notice? And if you notice something, that's fine, and if you didn't notice something, that's fine. Second inquiry would be, what was different? What was different about sitting here and like this and what it was, say, 10 minutes ago? And then the final inquiry, the final reflection, is there anything here that might be helpful? And if there is, that's fine, and if there isn't, that's fine too. We can't get this wrong. So I'll ring the bell just to end this practice. And just to transition from that experience that we just had to coming back into the room. <laughs>